What's the best case of instant karma you've ever witnessed? The company I work for requires you to pass a series of tests to be considered for employment. First test is general knowledge just to drop out people who aren't that bright. I took my tests with 30 other people that day and 20 of them failed this test. 10 left. Second test was general knowledge and a further 7 people failed the test leaving just 3 people left. The tests take a total of 8 hours and there are breaks in between. We were not allowed to leave the building during testing. If we had to leave then we would have to reschedule the tests for another day. Me and the other two guys were stuck there together for the rest of the day so we got to talking in between tests. One guy was older, maybe in his mid-50s early 60s and was bragging about how easy the tests were and couldn't believe 27 people failed. The other dude was my age at the time, pretty young for the job we were applying for. He was nervous and seemed happy he made it through the first two tests. As I studied for the test there was one that I wasn't sure about. I knew I would have a hard time with that one and when they put out the docket for tests I saw the hard one would be the last one on the list. My plan was to pass four of the tests and reschedule the fifth to give me more time to study. All three of us passed the third test and I had to listen to the old man gloat about how easy it was when the young guy and myself lamented it was harder than we thought. The young man said he knew all the math parts but the theory and hardware parts would be the most difficult for him. I said the math would be hard for me but I was confident with the hardware stuff. I was bluffing of course. I studied using old navy manuals that didn't have anything about newer hardware so I was ignorant to that stuff. I too was strong in the math part because I found out we would be able to use calculators and my father-in-law gifted me as scientific. Calculator. The old man called us both stupid if we thought that was hard and was in for a shock if we actually got the job. I sit down for test 4 thinking it was the math test according to the docket, but when I opened the book I found out it wasn't. It was the hardware test. I raised my hand and asked to reschedule because of the mix-up and she said that was impossible after I opened the booklet. I freaked out. My whole life was riding on this test. I moved here for the job and if I didn't get it I wouldn't be able to afford an apartment. I calmed myself and just tried to answer using context clues and deductive reasoning. After the test I asked the young guy how he did and he said he was sure he failed it. I said me too. This launched the old man into a tirade about how he has worked in this industry for 25 years and if I thought the tests were hard now then I was going to never make it in real life. This went on for 20 minutes about how my generation was weak and stupid and he feared for the future. He said he knew that test like the back of his hand. As you can probably guess, the old man failed. And me and the young guy passed. He didn't say a word and just got up and walked out. I didn't say a word either. I just smiled as he left. Now, this instant karma was twofold. After the old man left the other young guy went off laughing and making fun of him. Talking about how we got this since we had our calculators and he was talking about how he hopes we work together and how cool of a story it would be. He went to the payphone and called his girlfriend and told her that he was in, that he was going to pass and that she can start looking for a new house and everything. He had his calculator out playing with it while we waited for the last test. It was a graphing calculator. I was bad in math in high school so I never took high level math, but my friends did, and I loved playing with their graphing calculators. I looked at it for a minute and something hit. Me. Holy crap, this calculator didn't have scientific functions on it at all. He assumed since it was so fancy it did, but it didn't. I told him this and he went white. What do you mean he said? So I showed him in my old beat up calculator how I do number conversions and he didn't have the buttons to do it. Now being the over preparing dude I am, I learned how to do it on paper in the event we couldn't use calculators. He was not so studious. So I tried to give him a crash course on how to do it on paper and write out number lines and all that. He wasn't getting it. I said maybe he should ask to reschedule and get another calculator. He suggested I give him mine since I knew how to do it on paper. Uh, man, you are cool and all but I just met you. I'm not good at math and this is the rest of my life we are taking about. I'm sorry I need mine. He refused to reschedule saying he got this far and would be fine. He failed. But silver lining the four tests he passed qualified him for another job that paid almost the same but it was not as good and the one we were going for. I got the job and have been here for 19 years now.